This is another transmitter I put together. It's extremely small. It uses one transistor. You can see it's very, very small. Here's my thumb. It'll, I could actually hold it on the tip of my thumb as that small. And I designed it pretty much, well, I made a few changes. I found some schematics online. And a lot of them really weren't stable. And I wanted stability. And I wanted a lot of runtime out of it. So what I did is I added a Zener to this particular circuit. And basically it runs on 6 volts and there's a there's a 4.1 volt Zener in here. This way the voltage remains very steady and by having a steady input voltage your frequency remains very very steady. I had, I didn't have any frequency drift after about an hour of checking it. It just stayed right where it was supposed to be using the Zener to power the whole circuit. Now I have the schematic in the description box. You'll see a link to it. And I chose to use an MPSH10 transistor. You could use an NTE229. And the frequency range can go way up high. So you want to choose the right proper coil for your tank circuit along with the capacitor. Now in my schematic I used a 15 pico along with a 6 turn coil on a 732nd inch form. So on the schematic it doesn't mention the diameter but it's a 732. That's the core that you're going to wrap it on. And the range is, it, the sound is very very clear considering there's no transistor for amplifying the mic. So the sound is very clear but you got to turn the volume way up and then you'll hear it clear. The range is like 600 feet. It draws 17 milliamps and you can pretty much conceal this in anything. It's Like I said, it's really small. Now if you want to power this off at 12 volts and you don't feel like adjusting the circuit here, all you have to do is in series with this lead right here, you want to put a 330 ohm half watt and this whole thing runs perfectly. And this way the voltage drops down from the 12.6 in the car all the way down to 6.2 feeding the circuit. Stability is really good. You can pick it up like I am with the wire and just move it around. It stays pretty stable. When you put it down though, it's it's perfect. Nothing. It, it just does not drift. The antenna is only about 4 or 5 inches long. Of course, you can make it longer for more range. But if you want to be able to conceal it, you want to keep it as short as possible. So this 4 inch antenna, I have, it's 4 and a half inch antenna I have is just right. And like I said, with this setup, 600 feet. very tiny and for its size it the qua the uh, sound quality is very very good and the range is excellent really easy to make and I've tested it and it works perfect you might want to experiment with the value of the resistor going to the mic from the positive rail because that'll adjust the gain of that mic since you're not using an amplifier circuit with the transistor. So you might have to play around with your own value resistor. But for me, a 12K worked perfect for this little microphone that I got out of an old cell phone. I'll put the link in the description box. Give it a shot.